Hello guys, Natu Ace here. And the conference officially started with EA at 1 p.m. So I watched the conference, which is one hour. Was it really interesting for me personally? Uh, probably only one game for me personally, but it is not going to be subjective. I'll be more objective. Basically, saying like, did the company basically had something for a particular gamer? So, with that, let's get started on my thoughts on EA. So, the first thing they started with EA was, of course, Titanfall 2. If you if you didn't know what's going on yet, yes, finally, Titans, Titanfall 2 is going to come, I think, in this year, fall to winter 2016, or somewhere October, November-ish. And if you remember the original one, the very first Titanfall was Xbox One exclusive, because there was some deal problem that they really wanted either Sony or Microsoft fund the game, and Sony said no, so that's what became an Xbox One exclusive. But sadly, because it's only multiplayer, not a lot of people really liked it. Oh well, you know, it is what it is. So, Titanfall 2 is supposed to be better. Finally, it'll be multi-platform for the Xbox One, PS4. So, if you're a Titanfall fan, and finally you want to try, try it for the PS4, there you go. Plus, finally, they listen. There is a single-player mode. There you go. That It should be in-game, I'm sorry. There should not be just a multiplayer only type game. That doesn't work. Because not everyone will go for that multiplayer. I.e. Street Fighter V. That was a mistake. The lack of single player m- content it has more into multiplayer and online. So they kind of rectified it with Titanfall 2. So, yep. So in Titanfall 2, multiplat. Plus, oh, of course, it's also in the PC, but no duh. Plus, also, there's a single player mode. Alright, from there, moving there, they did, they showed Madden 2017, not really a sports fan, I don't, I'm not really a fan of the EA Sports game, I know some people do, I try to understand what they're doing, I guess there's some improvements happening, there's some also special event, it's happening with Madden 2017, really don't know about it, sorry, so, but I can tell, if you're a Madden fan, you probably might want to Go back and give it a chance again. I know it's an annual thing. A lot of them they do a lack of update. But hey, you know, maybe this one is the game. You know, just like WWK 2K WWE games. You know, every year it's an annual thing. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. So maybe this is going to be a good. So, you know, check it out. All right, moving there is Andromeda, Mass Effect, Andromeda. Okay, Mass Effect, Andromeda. That's what I'm trying to say. So, it's the fourth chapter of the game, and it's a brand new Mass Effect story. The, the trilogy is done. We knew the, one of a good game, I have to admit, it is a good game. It's an RPG shooter. Kind of weird, but it's a Western RPG. I did play uh, Mass Effect, I did the multiplayer mode because they had like that special thing you were supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, of course, you know the history of Mass Effect 3, so they're going they're staying away from that. So, what is it, Mass Effect 4? So they show some trailer, they show some behind the scene. I guess the story now is that there is a new Shepard. So, the character that you did, it's done. So, I mean, if you know the story from the original Mass Effect 1, you're supposed to be a hero named Shepard. And then, part 2, something happened. And then, part 3, it's time to end the war. So, that it's actually, it's a new trilogy, let's just say. Mass Effect and Drama Knight, a new storyline. Yes, there is supposed to be another Shepard, they said, but supposed to be from the future. It's like a, a new Shepard, like, I guess either your descendant. Who knows? Looks interesting, but as for right now, there's no gameplay. We'll just have to see what it is. So that's also going to come this uh, 2000, like fall 2016 to winter. Who knows? So from there, they showed FIFA. 2017. Again, I'm not a fan of EA Sports game. However, again, if you're a soccer fan, hey, you know, again, just like the football, the Madden game, apparently there's some new content here, and one of them is, finally, there's a story mode on a FIFA game. So, they basically said, you know, you're like a new rookie who's passionate with soccer, 
you go to the championship. I know it sounds cliche, but again, we'll see. You just have to check and see how it goes again. So if you're a FIFA fan, you know, this might be the game for you. Again, something that they're improving from this previous version. So there you go. FIFA 2017, I think that's what they call it. All right, so from there is they show Star Wars. So, of course, you know, they did Battlefront, the newest ones, uh, first person multiplayer Star Wars game. You know, it's a popular, the franchise has been popular in the past, so people have been playing it. 2015, everyone had fun. So, but that's not really the point of this one. The stuff, basically, what EA basically did is they hired more developer to do more Star Wars. So yes, because if you know what happened with this Infinity, this is active, no longer going to develop games or publish. Well, they may be publishing game per se, but they are going to license their game. So there will be more Star Wars. They basically said there's some other ones. They didn't really announce what it is yet, but there will be for like a Star Wars for every Star Wars fan for every particular genre. So that'll be interesting. Well, let's wait and see what happens. So, of course, the last thing they showed is Battlefield 1. Finally, a first person shooter that takes place in World War 1. I. I've been wondering how come they never done World War 1. And of course, the reason is the executive said. Oh, we're too afraid. Maybe it might, it might not sell. It won't be popular. Blah, 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 blah. Didn't want to take a risk. I say, hey, you know, EA, good job. You actually took a risk. Got a ball to take the risk. So, there you go. People won. They were, people were excited for Battlefield 1 versus Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which is first person shooter in space. So, yeah, so people are excited for Battlefield 1. I think it is something fresh. The problem why they've been changing Battlefield or any first person shooter, Battlefield, Medal of Honor, Medal of Honor, Call of Duty, whatever. It used to be for a while, bunch of World War II, World War II, World War II. And then after a while was, after a while was Vietnam War, Vietnam War, Vietnam War, and then later on, Modern War, Modern War, and now Futuristic War, Futuristic War. I mean, because you're doing this yearly, it gets saturated. <coughs> so, they needed, again, another change. So, this is a good change of Battlefield 1 going back to World War 1. Think of it as even before its roots. So, now you're using World War 1 technology, weapon, in a first-person shooter game. So... Again, a lot of people are excited about it. I'm not, because I'm not a fan of first-person shooter. But the whole point is that EA somehow now has having an advantage on the first-person shooter genre than Activision. Because Activision used to be the king of first-person shooter with the Call of Duty game. But again, <coughs> going to in space basically got tiring. So they just said, you know what, let's go back to World War One, And it paid off, that risk paid off. Kudos to EA. So, we'll see if the game has reviews, how the review goes for both games. Battlefield 1 versus Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Well, there you go. And that's basically my in-depth thought on EA's conference. The games are going to show for 2016 and beyond. Again, it does look like for this year, EA has something for everyone. Not so much, but I guess they're, at least they're showing games. And another thing interesting about the conference they did was... They didn't show any mobile game like last year. One of the one of the fallback what they did that made a mistake was they basically showed mobile game. Especially if you're a hardcore gamer, you're not gonna bother with a mobile game. That should be somewhere else, maybe in an Apple conference, an Apple event, whatever. Kudos for not even doing the e- kudos, they're not doing any any mobile game and you say well are they going to be in PC of course they're going to be in EA they'll be on EA Origin they're not going to put it on Steam that's a competitor but again you know there's a PC version PS4 Xbox One there you go so the conference here kudos actually it's interesting worth watching if you're watching if you want a particular game being talked about then it's there so kudos so what would I grade this I would grade this conference a 7 out of 10 because they did show good content however I kind of wanted to have more but they kind of didn't 
So, but again, you know, I get to try to keep it safe. So that's why 7 out of 10. So, good job. So the next one is going to be Bethesda at 7 p.m. Pacific time. And then I'll give you my thoughts about that one. So stay tuned.